So we are in the month of June, and if you live in the South, actually Hurricane Preparedness Week was at the beginning of May, and because I'm a parent and I'm constantly ill-prepared, I'm already behind. So I went to weather.gov and I printed out the list and I went through my house to try and make my hurricane kit. It says that you need one gallon of water per person per day in your house for at least three days in case your water gets shut off. Uh, I currently have no water in my home, so I am already behind the list. And if I do the math correctly, that means I need at least 15 gallons for my family. Next, food. You need a three-day supply of non-perishable canned food for your family. When I went into my pantry, the only canned goods I had were some carnation milk, and I did have one can of black beans. So obviously I am ill prepared in that sense as well. Um, I did find a packet of extra noodle Lipton soup, which I guess I could do in a pinch. However, I don't have any water, so I can't make the soup. We'd be chewing on noodles. Get that Chef Boyardee, okay? Get it, because you're gonna need some if you get stuck in a pinch. Battery powered hand crank radio. Also don't have that. Leads me to the next thing on the list, which is a flashlight. All of my flashlights have been taken by my children for camping. We don't camp, okay? So my kids basically just took my flashlights, never returned them, and I don't have them. What I could find was one candle, uh, one emergency candle, and I did have a lighter. So that is still ill-prepared for hurricane season. Next on your list, it says you need a first aid kit, which I found our first aid kit, it's right here. When I looked at the items that were indicated on the first aid kit and what I actually needed, the only thing that was left in my first aid kit was a tongue depressor, uh, plastic tweezers, an instant cold pack, one pack of Imodium, no Band-Aids, no gauze, one packet of Tylenol, which has not expired. This first aid kit is basically garbage. Uh, so I do need a new first aid kit. You should have some type of tools, perhaps a uh, wrench or pliers. I'm not sure if that's what this is, but I believe it to be. Also grabbed a pair of scissors, which is the only pair of scissors left in the home because my children have also taken and used all of my scissors. Cleaning cloth. Um, I definitely have these from last hurricane season. We never used them. I just bought some extra baby wipes, so, so there's that. It also said manual can opener for food. Couldn't find one of those. I have to get that on the list. Uh, dust mask, didn't find that, so I'll have to put that on the list. And then the last thing it said was a whistle or something to signal for help. So what I did find was this. If you do have small children, you might have one of these in your home. It is a recorder. It is Satan's instrument. But this could definitely be used as a whistle in case of an emergency. So take it from your child, confiscate it, let them know that they can no longer use it, but it should go in your hurricane preparedness kit because if you blow on this sucker, somebody's gonna hear you. The dead could probably hear you. This is the most annoying thing on the planet. When I realized how ill-prepared I was for this upcoming season, I wanted to reach out to you guys and I want you guys to be prepared. Go to weather.gov if you need to learn about getting prepared for, for hurricane season. And if you're told to evacuate, get the hell out and go. It's time to get moving. So prepare.